Hi guys, welcome to the update for the collection variants lister. I made some changes to the add-ons. Now you can have multiple variants and you can also simply select the parent collection so you don't have to type it in anymore. And for this demonstration, I have this nice Lamborghini model from STC Performance. You can find it on Sketchfab for free. Um, they also have other Lamborghinis and what they also have is this free wheel pack which I'm also going to use in this little demonstration here. So I'm assuming or I recommend to structure your variants in collections to make use of my add-on and the way you should basically set up the hierarchy here is to have one collection that holds your variants and each variant should be in one collection so for the tires here i have three variants tire one tire two and tire three and for the rims i also have three rim one rim two and rim three so if you would want to switch between the variants in default blender what you have to do is you turn off your tire variant one and turn on your tire variant two and if you want to see the tire variant three you would turn off two and turn on three. If you quickly want to change between them, it can be a bit tedious. So with my add-on, which you find in the end panel under D tools for your signer tools, um, under collection variants, you have an open variant collection setup button that when you click it opens a box. And here on the right side, you have a plus and a minus and an up and a down. I'll explain later what these are for. And to set up a new variant, all you have to do is select the, the parent collection that holds your variants and click the little plus sign and then it will automatically create one variant set. This one is called tires, like the, like the collection that holds your variants. Now we're in talker single mode, so you only can see one variant at a time. And switching between them is quite simple. You just have to click on it and then it will automatically turn off all the variants, but the one that you want to have. Just like that. Well, maybe let's have a closer look here. It's tire two and then we can simply switch to tire one and tire three. So there's also the toggle multi-mode. If you want to display more than one variant at a time, you activate it by clicking on the button and now you see that all the wheels are gone. That's because it always remembers the last uh, selection that you had. But as I wasn't in multi-mode before, there's nothing to remember. But you can just simply activate the variant that you want by clicking on it. And in this mode, you can display more than one, as I said, and it's quite useful like in this example here, I can see that one of the tires is not properly placed and it's really useful for that. You have these buttons here on top, like in the old version, um, where you're all on, all off or invert. And they do exactly what they, what they say, like click all off and all the variants will turn off, all on, turns them all on. And invert will invert the visibility of your variants. So if you have two visible, and one invisible and you click the invert button it will invert the visibility with the new update you can also have more than one variant set as i said and to add a new variant you would just go in and select your parent collection click plus sign and there it is and now it's also down here in the little drop down this is where you would select if you have if you have multiple variant sets you would select it here so let's switch over to rims and I can simply switch between them. So as you can see, it's changing all the wheels. That's because I have four wheels in the collection. That, that's the variant. I have all the meshes. You have this little check mark here. And this will select the variant set up here for um, editing. So if you select it here, you can hit the minus button and it will delete it, or you can move it up or down and that will also set it here 
in the right order. If you want to delete it, you just select it here, like this little check mark and hit the minus button, it will delete it here. Sometimes it will stay here in the little drop down menu. What you can do is like hit the, the update button, it will update it and then it's gone. That's it for the, the updates. I'm also working on other add-ons like a more complex variant lister and a section tool and some other stuff that I will be showing once they're all finished. If you have any suggestions or questions, um, do not hesitate to put a comment down in the comments or send me a message over at um, my Gumroad account or on my Blender Market. Yeah, as you can see, I've also changed the name here. That's because Variant Lister will be another add-on, as I said before. So I changed this to Collection Variants. So this one is only about switching between different collection variants. So thank you for your time and see you in the next video.